Yo, I'm Bob. Totally blind since birth into Star Wars. We're going to be unboxing a vehicle from Star Wars, the Clone Wars, more specifically the Shadow of the Dark Side toy line. So this is the Jedi Turbo Speeder from the Clone Wars. We saw it in the, uh, I guess you'd call it the Rise of Boba Fett arc. Uh, we saw it in the arc where Ahsoka is going to leave the Jedi Temple. I think it was in one more episode too. But yeah, we actually got one of these, and I think I picked mine up in 2011, but it actually came out, I think, in 2010. Yeah, just gonna open the box here. All right. Whoa! I lost the instructions. <laughs> There we go, there's the, the vehicle in the box. Got some missiles. Various odds and ends. So I'm gonna pause this and attempt to get this thing together. I will be back in the blink of an eye for you guys. So the turbo speeder I almost put the uh, the fins on the wrong way. <sighs> Got off pretty lucky there. So no cockpit canopy. This has an open cockpit. Here it is uh, facing this way. There's room for a droid and a little droid socket. You've got your cockpit that seats two, driver and a passenger. Here it is from the back. Pretty nifty little, little speeder here. So you can open these little side sections. They slide apart. Revealing twin missile launchers. Anakin must have custom designed this speeder. So yeah, you got some firepower there if you need it. And the missiles do fire. I'm not going to fire one off. I uh, don't want to lose the, the projectiles, but there's one. And so you get two in each launcher on the sides of the turbo speeder there. So uh, let's see what else we can mess around with here. I think these fins, they can come up like that. I think they can serve as blast shields. I'm not sure if there's anything else that slides out of these. In order to, to do that, I don't think there are. Yeah, they go up and they slide down. Let's see what else we can find here. So there are two little sentry guns, uh, blasters, that pop right out here. You have to open these separate pieces of the uh, turbo speeder to do that. Neat little feature here. We didn't really see these go into combat in the show, but I like to think that if they needed to, they can have a bit more firepower. So you got some blasters that pop up out of there. You can stand some clones Down in there, you got some foot pegs, um, and I guess the the fins the fins can come up like this while they're firing. I don't think these blasters can rotate. Oh, by the way, there are more missiles in the uh, the fins. You got missile launchers in the backs too. So there's there's another concussion missile or proton torpedo or what have you. So yeah, we didn't see these in, a, in any firefights in the Clone Wars, but I mean, it's kind of interesting to see that, well, I don't know if it's canonical or not, but cool little additional bits of firepower there. So you can stand some clones in there, things like that. I'd give it a 10 out of 10. It's a neat little vehicle. It seems like it belongs in something like Battlefront or what have you. 
Anywho, that'll do for this Star Wars vehicle review. Can't believe it's taking me this long to open these. And I will hear you guys next time. May the Force be with you.